mac and cheese, waffle fry, sauce, chip, chicken, sauce, top. Okay, we can do that. 12 days of healthy junk food returns with help from the ever so creative and innovative community on TikTok. All right, so boom, I saw like Grumpspot made this Chick-fil-A crunch wrap. I was like, wow. I hey guys, so I've been seeing this. Whatever you wanna see me do my all right, guys, so for this recipe, I'm now from the top. I watch this guy right here, man. I've been seeing this trend. Two words. Well, let me guess Chick fil A crunch wrap. I'm gonna try to make it. How did we not think of this? You take the best thing at Taco Bell and you combine it with better meat. Genius. Little fun fact there's absolutely no Taco Bell in this recipe. All right, I got you Chick fil A. Yes. I picked it up myself outside the front door. So the lady in the video didn't put any vegetables in her crunch wrap, but I like my crunch wrap supreme. So I'm making mine with some of the lettuce and tomato that is coming off of my deluxe spicy chicken. So for step one, you wanna make sure it's not Sunday. Otherwise, you can't move on to step two. For step two, order a spicy chicken sandwich deluxe, waffle fries, mac and cheese, side of buffalo, ranch, and Chick-fil-A sauce. The only ingredients in the store will be tortillas and tostadas. So we took our veggies from the sandwich, chopped them up, chopped up our chicken, flexed some AirPods, then start with a base of mac and cheese. On top of that, waffle fries. We spread on our buffalo. We used ranch for color contrast. And of course, the crunch. That's missing a crunch. That one too. Did we do this wrong? Maybe it's just supposed to be a Chick-fil-A wrap. It kind of took a long time, but I went on YouTube and they taught me how. But I went on YouTube and they... The TikTokers learn how to do it on YouTube, but we're on YouTube learning how to do it from the TikTokers. YouTube has a lot of great tutorials, for the record. So it doesn't matter how you make this thing, it's gonna taste amazing, awesome, bomb diggity, with all this Chick-fil-A stuff. Look at that chicken. No! We're all good, just put it back on. Yeah, look at that chicken. Ain't that a thing of beauty? No! And due to our modest sized tortilla circle, we're going to cut out another circle for maximum tortilla coverage. We got another sauce, let's use it. Plop, plop, spread, spread, top, top. Fold, 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 you know the rest. It kind of took a long time, but I went on YouTube and they taught me how. Okay, so what you want to do is fold inward and, and then fold again. And once you've folded all the folds, we're just gonna spray some extra virgin olive oil on our hand and then pan sear that with some more olive oil. Now I seared it off in some avocado oil about- Did you just say avocado oil? And some avocado oil. Avocado oil. We messed up. And there you have it, guys. It looked like Taco Bell, but it tasted like a salad. So all in all, this was a fail. Now it's a good mix of Taco Bell and KFC. Mm. Chick Fil A. You should put McDonald's in that. We should do a crunch wrap with like every fast food. Every fast food crunch wrap. Let us know. Happy holidays. Oh, and the crunch. Mmm, dude. That's a wrap, guys. A crunch wrap. On to the next recipe. Happy holidays, everyone. Do you approve? Yep. Because they're thinking outside of the bun. But inside a crunch wrap, it's freaking good. All right, guys. 12 days of Holly junk food has proven to be a success so far. Unless the order's messed up and we had a really bad fail before. But crunch wrap, Chick-fil-A, it works. Mmm. I never knew mac and cheese and chicken and lettuce and tomato and the three different sauces and corn chips and tortillas would taste so good together.